I'm Alberta Whistle and I'm working with Grand Union on a new commission. I decided to create a billboard using the phrase, in a hostile environment, respectability will not save you. And this idea of the hostile environment is something which has been occupying and concerning me for some time, most notably when the Woodrow story broke in 2018. And coming from a migrant background, this idea of how there's a pressure to assimilate, but also to find a way to almost resist detection so that you can maintain a safety um, has become very, very much a large preoccupation because it feels as though as the hostile environment has become more and more public and in some ways more visible through different controls the government has been affecting, um, this idea of safety feels really pressing. And I decided to use a particular colour scheme from this a blue to a pink to reflect some of the dance hall aesthetics that I grew up with in the Caribbean. But I wanted the script to, whilst referencing that, also allow for certain words to be picked out. So in the phrase hostile environment, the host part of it has become very, it's become much bolder and it's become white as a way of also speaking of the racial politics of assimilation in this country, where there's an idea that through becoming closer to white culture, you will resist detection and you can somehow maintain a sense of safety. Adjacent to the billboard, there's the windows of the canal office and in doing the research for this piece and walking around, I found myself thinking about the, idea, the kind of nostal nostalgia for colonialism and empire that really feels like it's really furthered this idea of the, you know, the, the mechanisms of the hostile environment. And I wanted to reflect on this nostalgia through thinking about looking at the world through rose-tinted glasses and longing for this, this perception of a, a glorious history and a glorious past. And so over the course of an hour, the installation in the windows of the canal office, the former canal office, they start off almost imperceptibly with a very pale pink, and then the color becomes deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper until it becomes almost like a warning to really speak of the, the precariousness of our times and how we, we are all really in these, we need to really understand that we are in these precarious times together and make that somehow visible. So the light becomes this really subtle way of understanding the insidiousness of these structures that we might not necessarily be aware of, but that are actually feeding these, um, these everyday violences of the hostile environment.